Hello and welcome back for yet another black and white war report. And today I'm going to talk to you about Hog Riders. Because Hog Riders are back, guys. Really, they are back. And they are not back because of any change from uh, Supercell, but because of a Chinese clan that showed me how to use Hog Riders. And remember what Hog Riders hate? They hate giant bombs, they hate the CC troops, and they hate the Queen. So with this in mind, let's have a look at this Chinese clan who showed me how to use Hog Riders. And you will see it's very effective. This is a very big TH9 base. And this guy will go through this like a knife in a hot butter. So what is he going to do? He is going to use a few giants. So here he starts with giants and uh, Hog Riders to bait the CC troops and bonus of the day to trigger one giant bomb he is happy and then he will bait the CC troops so far so good but uh, nothing really new well that's what we used to do we kill the CC troops and then we would send in all the hog riders together to kill the base and some most of the time they will die to giant bombs but uh, there is one thing we used to forget which is the queen and he has a plan for the queen and this is why he has so many wizards and it is not um, uh, he chose this uh, top right side for a reason he did not go for it like just on flipping a coin it's because he just wants to snipe the queen here so there, is, there it is he kills the queen he can start to send in the hog riders and notice how he will not send them all together so that they don't get to the giant bombs all together and they don't get all exploded and you can notice at the same time that the giants on the top, top right manage to tank the troops long enough so that the queen, the king and the wizard are still alive while the hog riders are doing their work and there is nothing to kill the hog riders anymore because uh, they don't really fear the king, they only fear the giant bomb the CC troops and the queen and they are all dead so they will kill all the base while the wizards are, that, the wizards that are still all alive uh, will clean up the rest of the base no problemo and yeah this is very good how he used his wizards and uh, giants to kill the queen and still stay alive because um, this will also speed up the attack a lot like this attack was really quick and it was a very clean 3 star on a very decent and very nice TH9 so I was very much impressed by their attack and the thing is if there was only one I would not be too much surprised but the thing is he did, a, he, did it, uh, he did it again so here is OBX Sponger and this is the same tactic he uses giants to bait the CC, this time he does not need uh, the four hog riders to help as a task, so he will just not use them. And now, um, yeah, very nice uh, bait of the CC troops. He makes sure that the CC troops uh, are all clumped up together, sends in a few barbarians so that they tank them, and one single wizard will kill everything. And now, once again, notice how he has. Giants and uh, wizards and the king and queen just to kill that single queen and also for the cleanup. And the thing is, he can do that because he has also the hog riders that will rip the base after. So those wizards will not die and the queen will not die either. So he already has started the cleanup before he has even killed the base and the cleanup troops will not die. So that's fine. Uh, he will use uh, heal spells. To survive the giant bombs and keep in mind that he used his hog riders not all at the same place because uh, he does not want to have too many hog riders to trigger the giant bombs and now he will just uh, heal them all the way through the base and because he realizes that the giant bombs are not in pair um, he knows that his hog riders are safe because the giant bomb cannot kill a level 5 hog rider all alone, giant bombs need to be together. A pair of giant bombs is very dangerous, but uh, one single, single giant bomb is not too much. So this base was not very dangerous for him, because he knew there was no double giant bomb. So yeah, very nice cleanup. 
and a very nice three star from him once again and I was once again very surprised this is a very good TH9 and it's very hard to kill a TH9 with Hog Riders but this is not over he's not the only guy who did it and that's where I started to worry about this war because uh, if they start to 3 star every single of our TH9 we are in a bad shape uh, this time the CC cast the CC or uh, is a little bit more in the inside so that's why he uses the two hog riders along with the giants and this is a very good way to uh, bait the CC I used to use only the hog riders and they would die to uh, the defenses but uh, with the help of the two uh, giants the rest of the hog riders can stay alive long enough to make sure that all the CC troops uh, or baited so this is very important a very nice bait from him very well thought you can really see that uh, this guy has been doing hog riders for a very long time and now he will go for the, the queen once again and you will see once again three giants a few wizards the king and he does not even have the queen so yeah it's it's, uh, it's a bit hard to go all the way but he will manage to do it with the arm power of the king and there it is his king with the arm power will kill the queen and now he starts to send in the hog riders he will be very careful here look at the placement of the heal spell to make sure that uh, oh to make sure that his hog riders stay alive they stayed alive but they don't die actually they might have died if there was a double bomb here but uh, there were only two of them there were only five of them uh, hog riders and another good thing about his uh, attack strategy is his king here while killing the queen actually triggered another giant bomb so this also relieved a lot of pressure from the giant bombs so there was only three other ones and now it will be a very close fight actually and this is because of the giant bombs and the fact that the cleanup troops uh, could not kill too easily the queen so yeah, a little bit more tricky attack, but uh, it's a 3 star nonetheless on a very decent TH9, so that's a very good attack. Uh, I will sp speed this up because we don't need to watch it all. But actually, I will stop it because we know it's over. And I will jump straight into the fourth 3 star on our TH9s. And it's against Geoff, which uh, once, again, once again has a pretty good, uh, pretty good base. Same tactic, uh, giant with hog riders to bait the CC troops. Uh, he will not trigger the giant bomb. Maybe there is no giant bomb actually. Then bait the CC. Then send in three the giants, uh, maybe four giants with a few wizard and the king to kill the, the queen here. And then the hog riders to kill everything while the cleanup crew um, are on the back of them. A lot of heal spell, giant bombs here are very low uh, level, so it's really not a problem for those level 5 hog riders. And heal spell will keep uh, hog riders alive, and they will just uh, destroy the whole base, while the wizard take uh, care of the backs of the back lines. And there it is, four three stars in uh, one war on our stronger, strongest uh, th 9s So yeah. Hog Riders are back guys and this is not because Supercell decided to buff them this is because a uh, Chinese clan knows how to use them so yeah this is it um, I, hope you, I hope you guys like this video I hope I was clean, uh, clear enough and yeah you can try those Hog Riders it seems like uh, they are still viable on TH9 that's it for today and see you guys next time